The San Diego County District Attorney filed criminal charges today against a nurse they believe was responsible for the death of a young woman while she was in custody. This happened back in 2019, and now the attorney representing the woman's family is speaking out about the case. News 8's LaMonica Peters tells us what he had to say about the charges and what's next. The family's attorney says there is video of that nurse ignoring Elisa Cerna as she lay having a seizure in her cell. Now the DA is charging that nurse with involuntary manslaughter. In the course of that seizure, she fell, struck her head, hit the floor, and remained on the floor unconscious. 24-year-old Alyssa Cerna died while in custody at the Las Colinas Detention Facility on November 11, 2019. San Diego County's DA says 36-year-old nurse Dana Lee Pasquad did not follow proper medical procedures to help Cerna. The response of the nurse was to say, let's leave. So they closed the door and they left. And when they came back, more than an hour later, Elisa Cerna was dead. San Diego County DA Summer Steffen released this statement saying in part, the evidence in the in custody death of Elisa Cerna demonstrates criminal negligence that contributed to her death. It is a heartbreaking case of failure to safeguard Elisa's life by those who are charged with that responsibility. Iredell says Cerna left behind her parents, her sister, and a young daughter who's now six years old. He's representing the family in a civil suit filed last year, and he hopes that by the end of the investigation, anyone else who was negligent in Cerna's death will also be held accountable. The conditions of confinement and the lack of adequate care has caused death after death over a long period of time. This is not an isolated incident. Iredell says Cerna was in custody on a minor drug-related charge and for being under the influence. Dana Lee Pasqua is facing up to four years in prison and is scheduled to be arraigned on November 18th.